I'm Jeremy, and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at a tool called Linus, which is a security auditing tool, which runs on most Linux and Unix type systems. All right, let's get started. What you're seeing here is the VirtualBox console of a brand new install of Ubuntu Server 1604.3, I believe. And I've done only the install and uh, basic updates. At this point, I'm gonna switch over to the terminal on the Mac so that we can blow the text up a little bit larger and everybody can follow along. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and clear the screen. And to install Linus, you would just simply do sudo apt get install Linus, enter the password, Okay. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is execute Linus as a super user. And it'll spit back information about Linus. And we're actually running an old version as you can see here. So let's see about updating it. It appears that our default repositories do not have the current version. So we're gonna continue on with the old version for a moment and see what we can do with it. All right, so if we enter sudo Linus audit system, it should come back with some information for us. So we'll let this run and I'll be back in just a few moments. Okay, so as you can see, our hardening index up here is only at a 50. There are a couple things that we need to keep in mind when we're seeing this. First, we know that we're running an outdated version of Linus. Second, if we scroll back up here, there's a whole list of suggestions and a couple of warnings. So our first course of action would be to take care of the warnings and then to start working through the list of suggestions. Considering this is a brand new system and I've only been working with Linus over this weekend, I'm going to break this off into a separate video and we will come back and we will address many of these warnings and suggestions and see if we can't get our hardening rate to at least a 75. So if you would like to know more about Linus, you can go to sissify.com and you can read about Linus, the benefits, you can take a tour, you can find out about their 
commercial version or enterprise version, which is actually quite affordable. And in the next video, I'll come back and we'll be working through some of the problems that we found with this brand new Ubuntu server virtual machine and see how much we can harden this system down. Until then, this is Jeremy for Practical IT. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave comments below. Tell your friends about the videos. If you'd like to leave a suggestion for a possible future video topic, please do so in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.